name is Mike Yofit Omowe. The name of my school is Right Choice College. I am 14 years old. The title of my story is The Revenge of the Evil Dwarfs. Once upon a time, there was a king who lived in the village called Agugu. The, village, the king had a lot of property, which made some villagers think of meeting the king. They thought with all he had as if he was the only one that God gave the grace. They went to the palace to meet the king. When they arrived at the palace, they met the king on his throne. They told the king that he should support them with something such as food, clothing, shelter. The king considered them and said you cannot live inside the palace, but you can live around the palace. The people accepted it and they thanked the king. They left the palace. Although the king knew already about their mission before they came, because the king was a traditional worshiper, the spirit had already told him about the villagers' visitation. Meanwhile, the chief were there when the king was attending to the villagers. They become so jealous because they have never for once allowed them to live in, around the palace, not to talk of clothes to wear, not even food. After that, they started fighting. They planned to kill the king. They planned to put poison in the king's drink, but one of them could remind them that if they put poison in the king's drink, the, king, the king's will knew about the poison. They finalized on choosing a young lady to finish the rest while they tricked the king. At the moment one of the chiefs was planning to kill the king, the king said never. The spirits will never allow it. The spirits went to Olode and explained to him about the killing of the spring and those that were about to conspire to kill the king. The Olode went to the palace to inform the king about the development of making a sacrifice. The god didn't accept the sacrifice. It, they told the king that the god rejected the sacrifice, that the, god, the king must first of all remove all the chief and replace them with another set of people. The king said, how on earth is he going to remove them and replace them with another set of people? The god said, the god insisted to the king commanded by the gods. Later in the night, the queen brought food the king rejected the food and said, eating food is not the matter right now. As some hours after the queen left, some people came in the red night to strangle the king to death. Four weeks later, the god decided to revenge on the king dead by eating and consuming the villagers. They went to the, when they arrived at the village, the king at the village ran for report notice that some people are killing the people in his village. The king sent for a chief, for a priest, to consult from his aura. He shook his head and said some evil, some wicked people and evil spirits have invaded the, the village. The king, after the priest was done, on his way home, he was instantly killed by one of the gods. When the king heard about the death of the, the, the priest, he sent for another priest to consult from his oracle. He shook his head and said exactly what the first priest had said. On his way home as well, he was also killed by one of the gods. Later, people couldn't come out of their house because of the gods, because they are eating and consuming the people. The only other did a sacrifice for them to appeal the, the gods in order to allow peace to reign. The gods said they have not done anything yet. The fight has just started. The only one they agree that the, about what they said. Later, the only one they agreed to find those that killed the king. But he said he doesn't have much power to find the, the murderers. The only one they, the court said is they are going to power him and put on him in order to locate the people and bring them to the village. He got, later he got to a large city. He brought, he sat for the people for four days and four nights. On the fifth day, he saw the people. He bundled them with his, with his power given to him by the gods. He took them to the village. The villagers were excited. The only one they made himself clear at the front of the gods. And they rewarded him by making him the king of the villagers. The heaven smiled at him. Everything went in peace and peace. That's it.